The whole world is watching. And everybody have a favorite team that they want them to win. They're checking the best country who prepare to the best World Cup of soccer. And the whole Muslim Ummah was celebrating with the winning of Saudi against Argentina. And everybody is searching for Messi because Saudi win them. I have no arguing about that. But if the Muslim countries as Qatar and as Saudi prepare millions of dollars to prepare the best team to represent their country to win the World Cup or to win the gold medal. If the Muslim Ummah spend to prepare the team to play but not against Argentine or not against Germany, Again, is the team of Iblis. My brothers and my sisters, the shaitan and after us for 11 months, making sure that we are not qualified to the semi-final, which is Ramadan. They want to make sure that you, when you arrive to Ramadan, you are not fit to play in the team of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The shaitan is after you and me and everyone, making sure that you are burdened with sin and you are confused in this dunya and you have no time for yourself and your family and Allah before anything. Then when comes Ramadan, you struggle as every Ramadan. Then from member Rasulullah wasallam, I decided to make this khutbah about the World Cup. But not the World Cup for soccer, the World Cup for Ramadan. All the countries take their team for six, even someone, some of them for a year, preparing for this tournament to be qualified. And sometimes they come from, they, they lose from the first game. But they spend a year. They send this perfect team to somewhere and they choose the most expensive coach. Now you listen, this player is worth 30 million and this coach is worth billions and this person and this person and all stuff. And you want your son to be a sheikh? Or you want your son to become Ronaldo and Messi? The problem is, our beautiful kids are victims from the society that we do. I am not claiming that the, the World Cup is haram. Don't put me in that. This is not the place of claiming sport is halal or haram. No. I'm, not, I'm just saying, if we pay attention to our children, and if the countries pay attention to the youth in every country, Muslim country, we will raise a good team not to win the World Cup, but to win against the Shaitan team, which is the Shaitan have, the captain of the Shaitan on your left side is Iblis, and on the right side is the team of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the captain of the team is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then we need a lot of people to be fit to be in the team of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To be qualified to go to the semi-final which is Ramadan. When Ramadan come, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Ramadan, on the first night of Ramadan, the first night, when we gather to say that tomorrow is Ramadan, that's the first night, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ The doors of fire will be shut. And the shaitan who played for 11 months, he will be in jail. And that's why he worked so hard for 11 months to make you not come to the semi-final. And then, to fattahu abwaab al-jannah, and all the door of jannah will be open. And you nadi munadi min as sama and the call will come from the sama. Ya baghi al-khayr aqbil, you 
with all your generosity and the khair, come. Ramadan is the month of generosity. And the one who do the sharr, he will stop himself. Because that's the month of barakah. And it's have the best night. Laylatul Qadr. Khayrun min alf shah. Why are you doing that? Because when you reach in the day of judgment, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Aina saimun? Where is the one who used to fast? And everyone in the day of judgment wished to be from this team, the team of saimun. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, whoever was fasting in this dunya, they will enter from one door called Babur Rayyan. La yadkhulhu illa saimun The Babur Rayyan. Only one who enter in this door is the people from Ahl dunya that used to fast. Then they enter from this door and this door will be shut. Nobody will enter except the people who fast. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us the one who fasts Ramadan insha'Allah. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه النار الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على المصطفى المبعوث رحمة للعالمين Indeed, the competition is hard And indeed, the team that we play against is very tough and they're wearing their red shirt with two horn <laughs> and they prepare very well and they fit and they can play not 90 minutes more than that they can play the whole time of your life they are fit for that then you have to be strong then you have to be in camp not six months now we only have four months, maybe less than that for Ramadan. You have to start from now. You have to build the muscle of the Salah. You have to build, you know, prepare your muscle of your tongue of Zikr. You have to raise your family to make Qiyam. You have to make them fast Monday and Thursday. You have to understand how Islam is about. You have to know the rules of Islam. All of you know the rules of soccer or rugby or... Uh, croquet, or whatever it's called, the sport that you like, football, whatever. All of you know the sport, rules and regulations. But when you come to the masjid, you don't know the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the masjid. For example, I'll give you one example. The brother in the first khutbah, he said to me, you're tough. You will not find anybody come next Friday. Wallahi, I love you for sake of Allah. I want you to win and play the final game. I want you to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get the trophy of Jannah inshallah together inshallah. We want to play in the team of Rasulullah sallallahu We want to be picked by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He is the coach and he's standing and watching and he said, I want this one to play in the right side and I want this one to be the head of the team and I want this person to be here. I want to be this, this is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That's my team. But how can you be chosen for this team and you don't even know how to enter the salah? For example, the brother coming to Friday prayer and he find the mu'azzin making the azan. This is a common mistake. I find these beautiful brothers, not only one, wallahi more than one, not only in one count of hand, it's two hands maybe. I find them in every corner standing and waiting very passionate and very polite and righteous and standing and waiting and listening to the mu'azzin until he finished the azan. And then the minute the imam stand up and give the khutbah, they start the two raka'ahs for sunnah. Huh? A lot of people do that, right? Right? We do that. Why you do that? Because you understand that listening to the azan is huh? sunnah. Sunnah. But the khutbah is what? Fart! Why? Because we pray in Zuhr prayer, we we'll call it Gum'ah, we're supposed to be four rak'ahs. We're only praying two, and the two rak'ahs is the khutbah of the Imam. Then when you enter and you find the mu'azzin making the azan, then immediately two rak'ahs, because this is a sunnah and you don't want to miss the fart. Make sense? Now you understand. Then we have to learn Islam. 
Then when your son tells you, I want to be in the soccer team in the United States, because I want to be raised as Ronaldo or Messi or Muhammad Salah because I'm going to get so much money and I'm going to make my whole family rich. Then you live his dream. I'm not saying it's a wrong dream. Because some of them, they represent Islam very well. I'm not going to argue about that. But when you tell him, let's go to the academy of Quran, and you become a sheikh or a alim or a scholar or a qari' Quran, he tell you what they get paid. Wallahi, the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will not rise and will not win the World Cup of Islam and will not have the trophy of gold until they pay for the imam and the sheikh of Naqari more than the professional player in Argentina and more than the coach of Germany. And when Saudi or United States of Qatar or whatever paying billions of dollars for a player to play to influence the young youth. But when the Qari comes, we tell him, read Gus or Hisk, and then we're going to give him food and tell him biryani for you and your family. You see the understanding of the youth. And then we blame the kids that they don't want to be an alim and a sheikh because the alim is a beggar. And Messi and Ronaldo is the most richest people in the world. The understanding of Islam is wrong. The Islam will not be rise, and the flag of Islam will not be high, until the ulama will be the most respected people, and the most people paid high because they are full times, and they dedicated the life for the ummah, and they're not having a part-time job. I have Hafiz that he came to the United States of America, memorizing the whole Quran, and now he's working in McDonald's, and then he's wearing the hat wrong this way, and wearing this chain in his neck. But he came four years ago, he was memorizing Quran, but when we tell him to come to Ramadan, he said they paid it, you know, over time in, in the subway and McDonald's. Because when we come to the masjid, we say Allah is Hafiz, Allah is taking care of it. But when we go to Qatar and Saudi Arabia and Egypt and Yemen and Morocco, the, the whole entire financial is behind sport. Because the sport is the reflect of the modern and technology and success of the country. But the Qari of the Quran, let's have the World Cup of Islam. Let's prepare for the Ramadan as we prepare for the World Cup. That's the only time we're going to win. And you know what? I will tell you how to inspire your children. And we're going to choose one person only. That he wasn't only known to the earth as Messi and Ronaldo and Muhammad Salah. He was mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Malay A'la. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he told him to go to this Sahabi and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to this Sahabi and knocked the door and the Sahabi opened the door and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allah yukriyuka salam Allah told you salam and he told you told me to recite the Quran for you. Then the Sahabi said, Ya Rasulullah, Allah mentioned my name to you. He said to him, Allah mentioned your name to me and the whole Mala al A'la. Innahu Ubay ibn Ka'b. Innahu Ubay ibn Ka'b. Al Ansari. Katib al Wahi, the one who write the Wahi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the one of six Sahaba that he used to make fatwa in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi alive, there were six Sahaba, six companions, that they make fatwa in the presence of the life of Rasulullah sallallahu One of them is Ubay ibn Ka'b. Sahabi, he said to him, Ya Rasulullah, Allah mentioned my name, he said to him in the sama for all the angels and myself. And he told me, he gave me the order to go to you and recite for you the wahi 
Then you write the wahi. Then he called Sayyid al Mu'mineen, Sayyid al Salihin. He was the master of the believers. Ubay ibn Ka'b. Then you need your kids you know, to know that. Why? Islam and the Quran raised him up. He was the mufti in the time of Rasulullah. Umar radiallahu anhu stand in the member and he said, Whoever wants to ask about Quran, he goes to Ubay ibn Ka'b. Allahu Akbar. Then teach your kids the Quran. Teach them about Islam and teach them how you enter Islam and how you enter the masjid and how you recite the Quran and how you treat the Imam and the Shaykh. Then, only then, you will win the trophy, the gold trophy of Jannah, inshallah. And you deserve to wear the New Jersey, but not for Argentina or Brazil, but you win the New Jersey of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the winner team, the one who will play the final, and the one who will enter the paradise, inshallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you be a member of the team of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to be a member of the team of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fariq al Muhammadi. You know, the coach is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the rule is the Quran. And you have to be fit. And the camp is from now till Ramadan.